open your eyes. Stop being blinded. Stop being blinded by your own wants and desires, your sins here. Open your eyes, for he is the truth and the way and the life. two together, what does it truly equal? When you look around, what do you see? When you hear, what do you hear? Life everywhere. Where does it come from? From him. So you see, he's the true answer to it all. So come on, you all. Come on, you all. Give him your sons, your wants and desires, and let them die on his cross. Let them die on his cross. And from this day forward, love and serve him. Love and serve him, for he is the way to the truth and the life that's everlasting. Only through him can you have eternal life your own life for living eternally? Amen. Amen. Hello, y'all. It's Pastor Marcia. Hi. It's warmed up, so that's awesome. Cool. Um, Alright, now, this week's sermon is called Put You and Two Together. What does it truly equal? Okay, when you look around, when you look around, what do you see? When you hear, what do you hear? Life, everywhere. Where does it come from? God. For he is the real, true answer to everything. You understand? You understand? Yes. Amen. Amen. Okay, now, so, open your eyes, open your eyes, stop being blinded by your own wants and desires, your sons here, that's not the true purpose, reason why God created us at the beginning of time, you understand, he made us and formed us at the beginning of time and provide living things for us, for how? You understand? Because he's our heavenly father. For his children. Understand yet? Okay, um, excuse me. He's the way to the truth and the life. It's everlasting. Isn't your own worth? Isn't your own life, excuse me, worth living eternally? Come on, people. Wake up. Wake up. Stop being blinded. Stop being blinded by your own wants and desires and sons here. For he is the truth. The reason. Our purpose. Why we're here. And why we're alive. And he gives us life. And he can give us eternal life. But you have to give your son, your own wants and desires, to the cross and let him die. And leave him there. And love and serve him from this day forward. Then you will have eternal life. Eternal life. Amen. Amen. Okay, the mayor, um, <clears throat> the mayor's working on the second pants issue. He's brought it up again. Um, he brought it up two months ago. He's brought it up again. Um, hopefully by April, the band force. Um, I have two more issues I'm going to bring up. Um, anyway, um, to help clean up Peoria, make it a better, safer place for us to live. And I need to thank him as well. And the people of the gym, River Pucks, they've helped me a lot physically. I've come a long way in the last three years, so I want to thank them there. And I'm still working on my song and book, so I need prayers there as well. 
and for Kim, she has cancer. She's not too, in, too good right now, so can we pray for her too? Her name is Kim, she has cancer. And pray for our um, tornado victims as well, and my organization, and I'm praying for y'all as well. The number one purpose of my organization is to tell the world God's truth. Number two is to help people. Number three is to help clean up Peoria, make it a better and safer place for us to live. Amen. Amen. And you have to remember this, okay? Sex, porno, gambling, drugs, addictions are all the same. They're signs. They will make you say and do anything for them, including lie, cheat, steal, use and hurt people, become selfish and greedy. And, and codependent, obsessed, and possessed, formed by them. You worship, bow down to, and, and idolize them. You understand? You must give them to the cross. Give them to the cross and let them die. Let them die and love and serve God from this day forward. And the love, peace, and joy are growing you, flourishing you, and burning you. Amen. Okay, um, so you have to understand, by God been teaching you, okay? The Victoria Riverfront Museum, the Blown Glass exhibit is beautiful. The sun's here is not worth to die for. You don't want to serve the darkness here. No, you want to serve Him and love Him. Like I told you over and over and over again, He's our reason, our purpose of why we're here and why we're alive. And he gives us a life. Don't serve you know, the father of lies, sin, the devil. Serve our heavenly father, okay? Our heavenly father who loves us. You understand? He loves us so much that he made the heavens and the earth and us at the beginning of time that he sent his one only son to die and suffer on the cross for us and our sons. So you see, there's a difference there. You don't want to serve the devil, the darkness. You want to serve the light, Jesus Christ, our Heavenly Father. Understand yet? Amen. Amen. Because I've told you, I taught you in the past couple Sundays why, the reason why you do not understand in Jesus is because you serve Him, the father of lies, the son, the devil. As in John 8. That's why you don't understand Jesus, the truth, in His language. You only understand the father of lies. You understand? He wants you to bow down, worship, and serve false idolatry here. You understand? God's true purpose, the truth, is God. It's the way to truth and life, and life is the the only way. The only way. Okay. Um, Remember Deuteronomy 11, love and obey the Lord. Deuteronomy 1, 6, 8. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And down to 8. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. You will never leave or forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. That's in Deuteronomy 31, 6, and then down to 8. Okay. In Joshua 9, have I not commanded you? Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God be with you wherever you go. 
He's with us wherever we go, we're never alone. He never leaves us or abandons us. He's always here for us. Always. Always. Jeff will lean on him. Lean on him. And remember Elijah, he was a true prophet. We've been staying on true prophets.
and, and other times and you end up with just to the query from the Look to Abraham the father to Sarah who gave you birth. When I called him, he was the one. And I blessed him and made him many. The Lord was shown a comfort and sign. You can find out more at and we'll look Village Flores. Compassion. That's on all the Village Flores. He will make her deserts like Eden, deserts like Eden, her wastelands like the garden of the Lord, the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in her, thanksgiving and the sound of singing. Listen to me, my people. Listen to me, my people. Hear me, my nation. The law will go out from me. My justice will become a light to the nation. A light to the nation. My righteousness draws near speedily. My salvation is on the way. And my arm will bring justice to the nations. To the nations. The islands will look to me and wait in hope for my arm. Lift up your eyes to heaven. Look at the earth beneath. The heavens will vanish like smoke. The earth will wear out like a garment. And its inhabitants die like flies. But my salvation will last forever. My righteousness will never fail. Hear me, you who know what is right. Hear me, you know who is what is right. You people who have my law, my law in your hearts, in your hearts, fear not the reproach of men, or be terrified by the results. For the moth will eat them up like a garment, the worm will devour like a wolf, them like wolf. Then my righteousness will last forever, but my righteousness will last forever, my salvation to all generations. Awake, awake, clothe yourself with strength, O oh, arm of the Lord. Awake, as in days gone by, all in generations of old. Who was it not you who cut Rahab to pieces, who pierced the monsters through? Was it not you who dried up the sea, the waters of the great deep, who made a road in the depths of the sea, so that the redeemed might cross over? Redeemed might be crossed over. The ransomed of the Lord will return. They will enter Zion with singing, everlasting joy will crown their heads. Gladness and joy will overtake them. And sorrow and sign will flee away. I even I am he who comforts you. Who are you that you fear mortal men? The sons of men who are but grass. G-R-A-S-S. But you forget the Lord your maker. The Lord your maker. He stretches out the heavens and lay the foundations of the earth. And lay the foundations of the earth that you live, L-I-V-E, live in constant terror every day because of the wrath of the oppressor. Who is bent on destruction? For where is the wrath of the oppressor? The cowering prisoners will soon be set free. They will not die in the dungeon, nor will they lack bread. For I, the Lord your God, for I am the Lord your God, who turns up the sea so that it waves roar, so its waves roar. The Lord Almighty is his name. I have put my words in your mouth like to be this year's and covered you with the shadows of my hand. Tune in tomorrow morning with mornings with the Tracys at 7 11. I who set the heavens in place, who laid the foundations of the earth, and who said to Zion, You are my people. And you say to Zion, you are my people. Amen. Okay, um, I read that a couple weeks ago. I brought it back today, actually. Um,
remember that. This love never fails, never gives up on us. Worshippers the Father seeks, 
God is spirit. God is spirit. And his worshippers must worship in spirit and truth. And truth. Amen. Amen. In John 8, 12, Jesus the light of the world. I am the light of the world, Jesus said. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have light of life. Amen. And remember John 14, 6. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except in me. Jesus is the only way to eternal life. The only way. And 1 Corinthians 12 is a spiritual gifts. 1 Corinthians 12 is a spiritual gifts. We studied them a couple times. You know, we can study that. Okay, um, Galatians 5. 22. Through the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit is love, L O V E, joy, peace, P E A C E, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Self control. Against such there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus, Christ Jesus, have crucified the sinful nature, the sinful nature with his passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us walk in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. Amen. Amen. That's the fruit of the Spirit. Okay, now, excuse me. Revelations 19. We've been studying the second coming of Jesus Christ at the end of time. Number one is the end of time. Number two, we'll climb this really huge steep mountain. As we climb, it gets harder and harder and steeper and steeper. We go through more trials and tribulations and certain things. Number three is the Garden of Eden. And he will provide for us again, the righteous, who make it to the top of the mountain. Where there will be eternal peace and life. L-I-F-E. Or his white fire is burning at the top of the mountain to guide us. To help guide us to make it to the top. And five is war versus peace. There'll be all kinds of war and battle here. All kinds. All kinds. Now on Revelation 19. Hallelujah. Okay. Now. Put everything together so far we learned. Revelation 13, listen, open ears, we've learned the mark of the beast, the mark of the beast, the devil, is 666, remember that. Revelation 14 is his 144,000 chosen. Revelation 16 are spirits of demons that will go out to gather the kings of the whole world, kings of the whole world, for the battle, the battle, on the great day of God, G-O-D, God, the Almighty. Revelation 17, the beast, the beast, the devil, will come out of the abyss, which is hell, and go to his destruction, the habitants of the earth, the habitants of the earth, whose names, whose names have not, have not been written in the book of life. Now I have life. And we also learned about the woman on the beast. Babylon. Which remembers this, number one, love and serve God, our Heavenly Father. Then comes your personal family, your spouse and children, you love and take care of them. Number three, work for the hours a week. Four, then comes your friends, etc. Et et well. Now ask yourself this very important question. Who or what? Who or what? You think about from the second you get up to the second you go to bed is who or what? Bow down to survivors and worship.
worship you. What you must understand is this. He knows he's here everything. Everything. He knows who or what you bow down to serve my lives and worship here. So ask yourself, do you serve the darkness? Your sons? Or do you serve God, the Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, which is the light? One way, one way, one way. Eternal life. Free is the truth, the way, and the life. Is the blessing of Jesus Christ. He's the only way. The only way. There's no other way here. No other way. Remember that. Okay. Um. The Revelation is mine too. It's the back of the Bible. Back of the Bible. Excuse me, I just got here from the back from the gym. I got kind of cold, so the water was kind of cold today. Okay. Hallelujah. After this, I heard what sounded like the roar of the great multitude in heaven shouting, Hallelujah. Salvation and glory and power belongs to our God, G O D, God. For true and just are his judgments. He has condemned the great prostitute. He has condemned the great prostitute who corrupted the earth, who corrupted the earth, who corrupted the earth by her adulteries, by her adulteries. He has avenged on her blood of his servants. And again they shouted, Hallelujah. The smoke from her goes up forever and ever. The 24 elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshiped God, G-O-D, God, who was seated on the throne, and they cried, Amen, Hallelujah. Then a voice came from the throne saying, Praise our God, G-O-D, all of you, his servants, all you his servants, you who fear him, both small and great. Then I heard what shouted like a great multitude, like the roaring of rushing waters, and like loud pearls of thunder shouting, Hallelujah! For the Lord God, for the Lord God Almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory. For the wedding, for the wedding of the Lamb, of the Lamb, which is the Lamb of God, has come. And his bride has made herself ready. Fine linen bride and queen was given her to wear. Fine linen stands of the righteous acts of the saints. Fine linen stands for the righteousness acts of the saints. Then the angel said to me, Right, blessed are those who are invited to the wedding, supper of the Lamb. And he added, These are the true words of God. G-O-D, God. At this I fell at his feet to worship him, but he said to me, do not do it. I am a fellow servant with you and with your brothers who hold the testimony of Jesus. Worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Spirit of prophecy. Okay, now the riders on the white horse down to level. I saw heaven stand open, and there before me was a white horse whose rider is called Faithful and True. Faithful and True. Just as he judged and makes war, his eyes are like blazing fire, and on his head had many crowns. He has a name written on him that no one knows but he himself. He is dressed in a robe dipped in blood, and his name is the Word of God, the Word of God. The armies, A-R-M-I-S, the armies of heaven, were following him riding on white horses and dressed in fine linen, white and clean. Out of the mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron scepter. He treads the wine presses to the fury, the wrath of God Almighty, God Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh he has his name written, kings of kings and lords of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, as to you in the sun, who cried in a loud voice to all the birds flying in midair, Come, 
Gather together for the great supper of God, the great supper of God, G-O-D, so that you may eat the flesh of the kings, generals, and mighty men of horses and the riders, and the flesh of all people, and the flesh of all people, free and slaves, small and great. Then I saw the beast, the beast, remember the beast is the devil, and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against the rider on the horse of his army. Connect with God. But that beast the was captured. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and with him the false prophet who had performed the miraculous signs on his behalf. With these signs he had reluded. Those who had received the mark, the mark of the beast, and worshipped his images. Remember the mark of the beast is 666. The two of them were thrown alive into the Pharisee lake, the burning sulfur. The rest of them were killed with the sword that came out of the mouth of the rider on the horse, and the birds forced themselves on the flesh. That's, uh, that's Revelations 19, the back of the Bible. So 
you serve? Love and serve God, Father, Father? The light? Or do you serve the darkness? Once you desire to sense the devil. The devil. Well, for the second you get up, for the second you go to bed, who wants you to think about is where you're going to act. It's where you're going to act. I told you about the beginning, and now we're studying on the end. The second coming of Christ Jesus. You understand? I, you gotta open your eyes. Open your eyes. Stop being blinded by this world, this place. You understand? This is not a real eternal home. It's not. The things and people here are not worth the dying for, suffering bits of hell for, or the devil's laughing at you. You see, God understands. God understands. It really is a heaven. Jesus Christ and the really is a hell. Okay, the devil. Okay? Like I told you, over and over and over, these are our purpose, our reason why we're here, why we're alive. And we can have eternal life by loving and serving Him. Then come with your personal family, okay? By loving and taking care of then comes your job. Looking forward to the Then comes your You gotta understand the difference between loving and serving and loving and taking care of, etc., etc. Okay? You gotta understand the person, the family, your spouse, and the children come second. Okay? Like I said, um, the mayor uh, talked about the sagging cans issue a few days ago, and, and um, he did also a couple months ago. So it's just a matter of time before it's enforced. So that's cool. Um, I got two more important issues, and like I said, I'm still writing my book. I'm still working on my song. Equal. What is it truly equal? 
true answer to it all is God. He made us inform us the beginning of time, the heavens and the earth, and his people. Then he sent his one only son, the one only son, God gave part of himself, Jesus Christ, to die and suffer on the cross. We have to keep him on once he desires and sins to the cross and let him die. Let him die and leave him there. And we live this day forward, living for him, by loving and serving him. And let the love, peace, and joy. Growing you, flourishing you, and burning you. Feel the Holy Spirit.